Hello there, uh, let's talk about the Game Awards, but namely, should Star Wars Jedi Survivor have been nominated for Game of the Year? Now the Game Award nominations came out recently and while Jedi Survivor picked up a couple of nominations with Best Performance by Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis and also got a nod for Best Action Adventure Game, a lot of people thought that the game was snubbed for Game of the Year. So let's take a look at the list of nominees. We've got Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Alan Wake 2, Resident Evil 4 Remake, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now look, I love video games, especially Star Wars video games. I still jump onto Star Wars Battlefront 2 every now and then for a few rounds. I even jump onto Star Wars Squadrons, even though I get my ass absolutely handed to me. And I've been playing Jedi Survivor all year since release on and off, and I still can't beat the duo of Ogdo Bogdo and Spawn of Ogdo. That fight, how do they expect... Th <sighs> Sorry, I am so angry at that fight. So as someone obviously still playing this game a lot, do I think it deserves a nomination? I kind of think it does. Now look, obviously I am very, very biased. Uh, this is a Star Wars channel after all, but I'm also not going to lie, I, I think the game had a lot of technical issues at launch. I had a relatively smooth experience on Xbox Series X, though I did have to play on uh, quality mode, and it's only once it was patched a few times that I was able to really play smoothly on performance mode like I like to. And I admit that those technical issues probably did have a lasting effect with it getting a nomination. But damn, I just love this game so much. Cal Kestis is just a character that I would love to see more and more of, you know? Uh, seeing him in live action played by Cameron Monaghan of course would be fantastic I want I, I love like the characters Night Sister Marin, Seer Junda I would love a DLC where we play as Seer because I loved her small section of the game that we got to play as I love that section so much Grease, Bode, Ravis, Dagan, Gera there are so many characters that I really really liked in this game and wanted to explore more with them I loved exploring Jeddah a lot uh, uh, seeing Coruscant, Kobo was amazing, the different lightsaber stances, and man did I love all the High Republic references throughout this game, like the Shattered Moon, the fact that Dagon Gera is from that era, loved it. As a High Republic fan, this game was fantastic. The question is though that if I think this game did deserve a nomination, what game nominated do I think it should replace? And I think I have a, a pretty controversial take in this regard, I think. Probably not the most controversial because I legitimately believe that this game could have actually taken the spot of at least four of the nominees. Let, let the thumbs down begin, go for it, I know, but here we go. Now look, I think all these games are fantastic, haven't actually played all of them, but um, haven't played Battle's Gate 3 yet, but that's not one of the ones that I think should be replaced, because just um, seeing how much is in that game it, and what Larian has done, that game looks phenomenal, and and like I, I understand why it's gotten the hype it deserves, and honestly, I don't think Alan Wake 2 should be replaced either. Game was phenomenal, everything I could have wanted in a sequel, looks fantastic, I'm a big survival horror guy, and, and that game just, oh, mwah, chef's kiss, loved it. The other four though, and four games that I really like, uh, one I haven't played yet, but four games, I'd be happy swapping out Jedi Survivor for any of them, if I'm being completely honest. Look, I am a massive Resident Evil fan as well, the remakes have been everything I've wanted and more, I replay 2 and 3 all the time, uh, I still play Village now and then, uh, and uh, working through the DLC for Remake 4 now, and I would still have no problem with it being uh, replaced by Survivor. Super Mario Bros. Wonder, another great game, having so much fun playing through it with my girlfriend at the moment, the Piranha Plants on Parade song, come on, that's been stuck in my head for weeks, and again, wouldn't mind if it was replaced by Survivor. Now Spider-Man 2, haven't actually played this one yet, um, but as someone who is who's someone who doesn't not not like the game. I actually liked Miles Morales' game more than the Spider-Man game um, because that game felt really bloated to me. I, I don't know. I didn't really like a lot of the side stuff in that game and it just felt like it went on for too long. But Spider-Man 2 looks like more of that. And and while I, I enjoy the core of the game and everything like that, it's just not something that I'm just like... It, it, it feels very much the same, you know? I, I don't know. Eh. Still gonna play it. Probably gonna get it for myself for Christmas uh, when it comes down in price, hopefully. And I know I'll enjoy it, but I, I just like Star Wars more than Spider-Man, I guess. Same goes for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, the fuse ability is fun as hell and it really lets you be super creative, but take that out and drop me into any section of that game and I'd struggle to tell you if I was in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm going to reiterate right now, all six nominees for Game of the Year are great. Couldn't be happier. 
2023 has been fantastic for video games. Hell, I haven't even played Baldur's Gate 3 and I would put good money on that game being the one that's going to win. 2023 was absolutely stacked with games uh, and any other year it probably would have been nominated. Sadly, even in the categories it is nominated, action adventure game, I think it's got a lot of tough competition as it's against all GOATI nominees. Same with best performance, they're both stacked categories so Unfortunately, I just don't see Survivor getting any awards, and uh, yeah. I do, uh, we never know, Star Wars Outlaws could win most anticipated game, but I don't think that's going to happen when um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is also nominated. Surprised Outlaws was nominated, to be honest. Didn't think there was a lot of hype for it, but I'm keen as hell for it. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think that uh, Jedi Survivor should have been nominated for Game of the Year? And if so, what do you think it should have taken the place of? Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me here and on TikTok. And uh, yeah, may the force be with you. Always.